You've asked for it, and so now I am bringing it. I can't wait to share with you my grocery haul today. This is your imperfectly healthy grocery haul to feed a family on a budget. I can't wait to show you what I got and stick around for the end because I'm gonna give you some awesome meal ideas. So I stocked up on some of my favorite freezer veggies and I love these for convenience to feed a family. Um, roasted cauliflower is my favorite way to enjoy these. I will throw them on a pan with whatever veggies I have on hand, cut up some peppers, maybe some mushrooms, um, put your favorite seasonings on it, maybe some carrots or what have you, and um, just really enjoy them. Just a quick, simple side dish. And then I actually recently also made like a keto hummus where I roasted cauliflower and threw some radishes on there. And then I threw them in a blender with your typical hummus seasonings like tahini paste, sesame oil, garlic, and salt and some lemon juice. And it was super delicious. And um, I called it blushing hummus because it was like, had like a pink hue to it with the radishes really fun and then the broccoli it is one of our family's favorite and so we go through a lot of broccoli just a quick side dish again i might often just roast it up in a pan with some coconut oil and some salt um, maybe some garlic just really simple really delicious and so good for you and then green beans are another quick simple favorite side dish we like the extra fine green beans I add these to meals all the time, as you can see. Um, and then some strawberries. We go through strawberries so much. We make strawberry smoothies. I make strawberry mousse. I can uh, link my video in the description box below for a super delicious, um, light and refreshing mousse recipe. And um, I also make homemade jam with it, with um, these. So use them in so many different ways. So we go through them quite quickly. And then I have some spring mix. We've been doing a lot of salads here recently. Also some spinach and um, I have been enjoying these with eggs. I've also been enjoying putting them in with my kefir. I recently started loving and enjoying kefir on a regular basis. And my favorite variation is in the Trim Healthy Future cookbook, the Greeny Meany Yuck Yum, Yuck Yum, I'm pretty sure it's called. And um, so I love throwing that spinach in there. And I've also been making the mint uh, chocolate cupcakes in the Trim Healthy Future and I put these in the chocolate cupcakes you would never know you don't see them you don't taste it and it's just awesome that it has uh, spinach in them and then some arugula really have been enjoying arugula here recently and some romaine and I love how just kind of to stretch your budget use some romaine and throw in some of these other deeper greens in there also and so that's one way of just kind of stretching your budget but eating healthy bananas and some yellow squash and zucchini. I've really been enjoying just roasting these. Um, my little guy, he's a little over one. He loves um, roasted zucchini. He eats a lot of those. And then um, I'm in the mood to make more of my dairy-free cheese sauce. And I use this and cauliflower to make that. I can link that in the description box below if you're interested. And so um, I just stocked up on these to make some more of that. And then I was just needing some more toothbrushes for my kids and some coconut flour. I've been working on a bagel recipe that uses this and also just need it for some more um, Trim Healthy Mama baking blend. And then stocking up on some stevia. And um, my daughter really likes these in particular. And so I got some more of these for her. I like them overall. However, you really have to watch a lot of the flavors anymore will have added cane sugar. It is one gram per stick and I'm okay with that. And so um, just, a, just a fun way to stay hydrated. And then um, the cocoa, I love using the cacao powder. I use it a lot. I use it in my boosted hot cocoa. I shared this recipe recently in my Trim Healthy Mama group that I ran. And um, I also use it for mousse, chocolate mousse. I use it for uh, chocolate smoothies and chocolate cupcakes and chocolate crackers. Can you tell that I like chocolate and skinny chocolate, um, including the recent video I just did on making Mama Fox's Foxy Gut Chocolate. I can link that video in the description box below if you're interested. And so I do go through this a lot as well. It is loaded with antioxidants. It's good for you and it's delicious. So why not eat, eat some? 
this trip. That is it for Walmart this trip. So I got a few different meats here. These are what I got at Aldi. Um, and I have a lot of meats in bulk right now in the freezer. I've been getting most of my meat uh, locally and so I didn't get a lot of meat this trip around for that reason. I also got deli turkey meat. We've been using this a lot for lunches and um, is there better deli, tur deli meat in general? Yes, of course. Um, but for example, it has no nitrates, doing the best we can on a budget. And um, we are going to two carry-ins this next week. And one of them I'm bringing veggies and dip. And so I got some broccoli, some cucumber, and some baby carrots for that. And this was um, just the, mo the cheapest dip that Aldi has available. So um, this is what I'm bringing to serve with that. Now, as a Trim Healthy Mama who goes to these things and trying to be dairy free, I do better if I don't have dairy. I usually will have maybe some salsa with my veggies, maybe some, I like almonds or nuts sometimes, wrap some deli meat or some other meat with my veggies. Um, I actually also love like peanut butter or almond butter, dipping that with carrots or celery, super yummy. Um, so those are some things that I kind of put with my raw veggies that I enjoy rather than this dip, but then I'll take something like this to serve when I go to carry-ins or what have you. And then I'm also bringing some of the hummus for the carry-in and um, some salsa. What I'm doing for this for the carry-in, you know the like corn, black bean salsa, Normally I cut everything up. I decided I'm just gonna buy one of these and then I'm gonna add a can of black beans and some corn to it just for um, just a bright, colorful, yummy salsa to serve. And then I'm also taking some grapes to a carry-in and got some cheese for pizza night. So I got some more peppers. I just love eating these fresh or roasted and I also use them in my non-dairy cheese sauce. Avocados are in season right now, so they're cheaper, and um, just we enjoy guacamole. And then these are for the salad. I'm gonna be bringing some more bananas, some apples, and these are also in season and relatively cheap right now. My kids love them, so I got more of those. And then um, some celery. I'm also putting these on my veggie plate. These are the chips that I'm taking to the carry-in. And um, of course the baked chips are better. I usually have maybe a few. I tend to not have a lot of them, but these are something that I enjoy taking to carry-ins to serve with the salsa and um, some more oats. We have a lot of oatmeal for breakfast in the mornings, some brown rice. And then I also wanted to be intentional to show you some peanut butter crackers, some graham crackers, the beef jerky and we use these for pizza a lot for my kids for individual quick pizzas now these are not on plan um these are these are okay but um the reason that i'm showing them to you is because we are a family on a budget feeding growing children and that's just the thing we're on a budget and we're doing the best we can so is there are there better options absolutely are there worse options? Yes, there are. But we're thankful for the food that God has given us. And so here we are eating the best we can and just rolling with it, um, including the bread. I hope to get into sourdough one day here. I have tried it in the past. So this, so this is the bread that we use to feed our kids. We go through a lot of bread right now. And then I got these for serving on top of our salad. So my husband prefers the steel cut oats, so I got more of those. Has anyone seen Coach KJ's recent recipe on peanut butter and jelly protein balls? They look so fun. I'm so excited to try them. And so I got the freeze dried strawberries for those. And then um, applesauce pouches. Now I find them cheaper at Costco. I am going to Costco in a week. We go through these like crazy, um, but I did decide to go ahead and just get one package here. My kids have been loving the lunch buddies, these fruit cups, and um, so we've been going through those quite a bit. Some more applesauce, we go through that a lot as well, and um, some more pumpkin. There's so many different ways that I love pumpkins. Is the I use the crushed tomatoes a lot for spaghetti, pasta, and we use it for pizza sauce. I just add Italian seasoning, and then here are the black beans that I'm going to add to my salsa. And I got some more egg whites and some almond milk.
As a Trim Healthy Mama coach, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my free Facebook community where I give tips and encouragement. There's accountability and inspiration along your health and wellness journey.